Switching gears, we're not we're following breaking news not far from AT&T Park. San Francisco police have shot and killed a man. Keiko Guerin says it all started when police apparently came across a group of men trying to break into a car. Kate? Liz, that's exactly right, and investigators will be monitoring surveillance video in the area. They're also asking anyone here who might have taken any cell phone video to please turn it into police. But let me tell you what we know so far. Just before 9 o'clock tonight, officers were here doing what police called crime suppression because of the game and the amount of people and cars in the area. Uh, one officer noticed a car with three people inside, quote, working the area, started to follow it near this location at 3rd and Bryant. And then the suspects got out of their car and officers watched them burglarize a Mercedes SUV. They were going in no particular direction, circling the neighborhood, which is a common uh, behavior for folks that are looking for an opportunity to engage in perhaps criminal conduct. Now, after that, the suspects got back in their car, and then the officer moved in to arrest them, and that's when the driver saw the officer and pointed a handgun at him. The officer told him to put it down. The driver didn't listen, and then the officer shot at the driver, hitting him. Somehow, another round, we don't know if it's from the driver or if the officer hit the passenger in the back seat, and the third person in the car ran away, but officers caught up to him. Now you're getting a live look. Roads are still blocked up in this area. We do know that the driver and the passenger were taken to San Francisco General. The driver did not make it, and we just learned that the passenger has non-life-threatening injuries, and police will be waiting to interview that suspect once he is recovered. Reporting live in San Francisco, Kate Kogirin, KPIX 5.